Uh, this is your Broadway debut. Congratulations. Thank you. Really right? excited. Thanks. And um, we had your co-star, Adam Driver, here. Right. And uh, he was explaining, you're, basically, your friend passes away, and it's about your relationship with your friend's brother, who's played by Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Right. And um, you, uh, it's a very intense show. It's very uh, intense. And again, your Broadway debut, how, do you have uh, more respect for stage actors having done this? Oh my for God. Little? So who would do this? <laughs> Literally. Like who? I mean, I'm sure musical theater is, is much more fun, but like to go and cry and get yelled at every night? Yeah. <sighs> Here we go again. Let's go. I mean, like I, every day, Tuesday night, you're like, Okay. Here we go. <laughs> and it's so nice of you, by the way. This is your one night to not get yelled at, and you came and spent it with us. I really um, appreciate it. I your like Monday it. off. Yeah. But do you, uh, as you do it more, are you, are you getting more used to it, or is it still every night just it's crazy to you that people do this uh, uh, for a living? <laughs> it's still crazy to me. Yeah, still, still a little crazy. crazy. To me. I mean, I'm I'm a nervous person anyway. It's not like where I live, like, you know, but. Like being out in front of people, like watch me cry, like in person. <laughs> um, but it's you know it, I have immense respect for people who do it, and um, a beer definitely helps. A beer helps. That's good. That's good to hear. Yeah. And then uh, I'm always fascinated by how people on Broadway stages talk about how an audience can be completely different from one night to the next. It's, cra it's crazy. I mean, they really. I mean, I, I, I sound like an idiot because I guess everyone knows that, but it really affects your performance. I mean, there, sometimes you'll have a really loud, drunk crowd that, you know, when Adam walks on, they're like catcalling them and stuff. We're like, should we wait a few minutes? Does that, is we get it all out? Or, um, you know, one time, or sometimes they're very thoughtful and they're, they're listening like a matinee crowd. And then <laughs> my favorite is there's a um, really great moment where there's a Bruce Springsteen song in it. And we're, Adam and I are still basically doing the scene on stage and this the song comes on, which I really love, and someone yelled out, this woman was like, oh, I hate this song. <laughs> it's amazing. You're like, should we turn it off? The, I mean, level, like... the level of entitlement that it's people crazy. have at a Broadway show to let you know exactly what they're feeling. Like, uh, it's unbelievable, but I guess that's, you know, that's, that's, just how, it goes. that's how it goes, but that's kind of the fun of it. Uh, Adam was also saying that because he's uh, Kylo Ren as well, that there was mm -hmm. uh, one of the nice things he was uh, talking about the audience is there are people who maybe come to see him in a show that wouldn't normally go to a Broadway show. And I think our show has that, uh, maybe differently than some of the other shows. I think a lot of the people we meet afterwards have never been to a Broadway show. So That's a really cool experience cool. to get people. Yeah, and I mean, I didn't grow up getting to go to a lot of shows, so I think it is cool. You know, it, it brings, um, it's not exactly a light show. Right. <laughs> to come, although it is very funny. I have to say, Adam is very funny in it, too. He's kind of this big force, but it's very funny. He plays it very funny, so. Nice tie into force. Yeah. Um, <laughs> really nice. Well, I understand that you have to do this now because you, you're you in the new Star Wars movies, so you get I a little am. scratch. How you get cool a little scratch that? when you say force. I, it's really amazing. I will, I almost don't want to waste the time of trying to ask you about it. Like, because every time there's somebody who's in one of these big movies, a be it an Avengers movie, a Star Wars movie, I'm like, okay. you can't tell me anything, yeah, right. right? But it is, I, I just, I, I wish I could swear, but you can't. But I, it is so... Go for it. ...effing cool. Yeah, okay. Like, it is like, it is like <laughs> so... And when I was there, I was thinking the whole... Th I mean, it's just the cost... Specifically, my costume. I mean, it's just awesome. It's and so uh, cool. I know we can talk about this. We can talk about your history with Star Wars. Is it true that growing up you were afraid of Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> is this is a true thing. When I was in kindergarten, okay. uh, my best friend's dad dressed up as Yoda, but in a very realistic mask. Like, not just like, oh, I'm Yoda, and you know, whatever. Yeah. Like, in the one of those real. To the point where yeah. you thought he might be Yoda. <laughs> he might be Yoda. <laughs> And by the way, he's a nice guy, so I don't, but yeah. I cried. You cried when cried. somebody walked in like, yo, that's, like, that's a lot. Ha it have a you lot. seen, I mean, at kindergarten, you probably hadn't seen know, Star I Wars wonder. yet. I wonder, maybe not. Your, your introduction to Yoda might have been a weird guy. A scary man. Yeah. Dressed. That's a hard way to meet it Yoda. It was, it was. Yeah. Now but over I time, Now I know he's good, now I like him. Right, that's good. And again, you can't, uh, give, you can't divulge these secrets. Uh, but yet you, uh, and we've talked about it before in the show, you played one of the great secret keepers of all time in The Americans. It's true. Uh, do you think that's been helpful for you yes. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That training. Yes, Yeah, that, that Russian spy Definitely. training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been uh, fortunate enough to see you since that show ended. And, we saw uh, each other. We did, yes, and we I, did. I complimented that was so fun. you and Matthew both on the fact that a show that I think there's this real expectation of this is one of those shows that's going to nail the landing. 
and I think you guys did nail the landing. Oh, that must have been such you. a relief. Such a because re no one ever does. Like yeah. never, you're never lucky enough. It's just like the, the stars don't align. But these writers, they kind of had the idea from the beginning, and I love that ending. I mean, you never get out while it's still good. Yeah. And um, and they did, and and I loved it. How I, do you? What was your first uh, interaction with the last script? Like, was it the tailor read, or do you get to read it on your own? They, you, they send them to you usually a little bit before, and I was actually behind in reading my scripts. I was a couple episodes behind, so I had this rare three-hour break, and I went to this restaurant nearby where we were shooting. And I sat with like three of the last episodes and just burned through them with a giant glass of wine. And um, I just cried in this restaurant. I was doing one of those things where you like cover your face. <laughs> and um, I just cried. It was so painful and so good. It was like the perfect kind of um, payment that they had to give. It was and good. of course, one of the, uh, the legacies of that show will be, uh, that's where you and Matthew met, it's right? It's true. Uh, you have a child now. We do, almost really, the same age as yours. Almost the same age as ours. And uh, is there anything, if you walk in uh, uh, to where you guys live, is it a monument to the Americans? Is it just like all the wigs <laughs> and glass cases? Is there any? Yes, okay, no, good. No, the only thing that we took collectively uh, between Matthew and I, uh, he took, there was a, Kind of gross, horrifying scene uh, involving an axe in a garage in a person's body. Yeah, yeah. And um, obviously, we didn't use a real axe on a person's body. Right. Uh, so there was a fake axe, and that is what Matthew wanted. That is. <laughs> I love Matthew, but I. <laughs> if he told me that's what he was bringing home, I'd move out. Yeah. <laughs> A little disturbing. Yeah, it's a little disturbing. And our two-year-old, who's a little wild, comes in just like wielding it. And you're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and he's like, you're the guys who brought the axe home. I know, like, it's true.